Okay, in this little example, I created what's relatively common in post, and that's doing source music, replacing original music. So basically the way it works is, you know, they shot this little commercial, and then they can't get the rights to the song, so they, you know, they want to do some replacement music. So I've got to make this seem like she's right in the room dancing to it, tr transistor radio. Here's a track from something I wrote way back when, and it's amazing. I just brick-walled this thing. I didn't really know how to mix you know, 10 years ago, but it's funny. Anyway, here's the sound of it. And, you know, to kind of keep the illusion going, I put a, put some transistor radio sort of sounds on it. And I've identified some arcs in the music. That little bridge and that little ending. I want that little ending to be on the ending of the video. So I, I know those two things. Now, what I'd what I want to find out is where to put those creatively. Now, in a typical day, I would just go through here and just pop that location right there and just put a cut on the video. That's what I like to do. But I wanted to show another thing to set a respect for, you know, the ways, many ways that Pro Tools does stuff. So we're going to use markers. I'm going to go to this little wheel arrow here. And marker, you know, all this little stuff can be option clipped, clicked and disappeared and whatnot. But that's another discussion. What really pisses me off about markers is when I hit the enter key, and I get this like this insanely complicated window. It's not complicated, but it's, like, it's too much. I don't have time for this. Get out of that. And I'm going to option click that minus key and jump that out of there. But here's what I do want to do. I want to go Pro Tools, Prefs. And I want to make sure that when I do drop these markers, that I don't get that window. This auto name memory location while playing, it prevents that window from popping up and goes, hey, you want to do this? You want to memorize that? You want to make this look pretty? I don't care. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mute this track and I'm going to just drop two markers in the creative arcs of this spot. Using the enter key, I'm watching picture. Bam, right there, you know, and this is your first run through. You're kind of just getting an idea of the whoosh, wing, you know, the, the creative arc of the thing. So now I have two markers and I'm just going to scrub select that. I'm going to jump in a little bit more and find that exact spot. Right there somewhere. I like to use the nudge keys for that, but you know, it's not necessary. So then I'm going to find this spot, swingy. Now I'm going to go out to my music. I'm going to just do some brutality. One quick thing that I have not probably shown is this video. If I right click the video window, I can drop it down to half size. And oftentimes you'll be moving along and and your video is black and you're like Gosh, why is the video always going offline and you go up here and you go back up here and you go oh, to put the video back online you know and oh it's great oh whatever and the reason is this little button here that little online offline so i'm right clicking that dealio and then i can fit screen swing or you know half size all righty so here's here's my first location. I'm going to do my trick. I'm going to select this and do Command C. If you're on beats in minutes and seconds, fine. It doesn't much matter. Just get a location. And here is this this arc here. Ah yeah. Okay, so that's right. I'm going to pop pop that one location, and. What I'm going to do is zoom down a little bit and I'm going to go spot mode, jink, hand, spot dialog. We've been working with sync points. I'm going to just, just snap this whole smack and start of this thing destructively right through there. A bold move. Why not? 10406 schming. Okay, so we're grooving. Then, same thing. I'm going to go. Out of spot because it's getting me the dialogue. I'm gonna go dwing, shingy, touch that. Apple C off the books, you know, undocumented little trick there. Select this spot. Ding. 
Schwing. Copy, paste. Slam. Out of spot. Delete. Boom. Boom. And let's just see how this sounds and looks. Oh, come on, Burge. All right, there we go. Okay, and then, you know, then you work it from there. You've got your you've got your two main hits, and then you massage this, this deal stuff, you know. I can tell, I can tell, and I can tell right away there's a, there's a beat added there, one beat, but that's a workflow. And that's using markers just to grab some empty numbers and pasting them in spot mode and spotting them in at the very butt front of the region. Got it? Cool.